This is the Wednesday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with the weather. Well, Dick, we're looking at a nice setup here over the next couple of days. It'll be cold overnight and into tomorrow morning with the possibility of some spot fog, but then partly to mostly sunny skies throughout the day. Warmer temperatures over the next couple of days. There will be a storm system going well to our north. The only real impact for us will be increasing winds for Friday. Weekend looks good with temperatures in the 70s. If Congressman Martin Heinrich and former Congresswoman Heather Wilson end up as their party's nominees for the U.S. Senate this year, a new poll indicates the race will probably be tight. A recent Rasmussen survey found 46% of New Mexico voters favor Democrat Heinrich. Wilson, a Republican, gets 42%. Now, State Auditor Hector Balderas is challenging Heinrich in the Democratic primary. If he wins the nomination, the poll shows Wilson leading him. 43 to 42. There are more charges of forged signatures on legislative candidates' petitions. Two men now claim they did not sign the petition of Democratic State Senate candidate Charles Roundtree from the Gallup area. Even though their names are on it, there have been similar accusations of false signatures on petitions of Albuquerque State Senate candidates Eleanor Chavez and Jacob Candelaria. Retiring State Senator Dede Feldman thinks all this is happening because. Candidates are now paying people to collect signatures. If you hire somebody who's not familiar with the area and is just doing it for the money, I think the danger arises. Whoever collects the signatures, it is the candidate's responsibility to be sure that they are valid. Forging signatures on candidate petitions is a fourth degree felony, but those charges are rarely prosecuted. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.